African martial arts discovering the warrior within technique of the week. This week we'll be learning to pass the bar exam, meaning we'll be working on some ways to apply an arm bar from a standing position. All right. Uh, the arm bar is an attack on the elbow. The elbow has very limited movement when you lock it straight. And there are many ways to get in on an arm bar. This comes forward. Uh, they can be done against grabs as well as against strikes. They can be done against strikes with a weapon, empty handed. Anything you do against a weapon, you can do empty handed or vice versa. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab a weapon. I like working against weapons. He's a lefty. So. Uh, there are different ways in which you can affect his weapon. You say he comes down to strike here, or he's doing the psycho stab here, okay? When he stabs downwards, I can step off, striking his tricep tendon to weaken the arm. Afterwards, I come down on the tricep tendon. This is a basic and classic arm bar. After I come down, I bring it close to my body. And always, when you're doing a takedown, it should only take two steps to take him down. All right. The closest foot steps, one. I want his wrist higher than his elbow as I continue to press down on the tricep tendon. And then two, I put him on his face. Three, I can pin his uh, wrist to my foot, I can raise my toe as I press down on his elbow to lock him out. Okay? Or I can kneel on this elbow to lock it out. He lets go of that weapon. And then I can go to work if I have to. Once again, then we'll go into other elbows. I bring Aku in. He comes down. I hit the tricep tendon. I slide down the arm. One, two. He's on his face. Pin his wrist on the top of your foot or on the ground. It's your choice. And you can kneel on it or you can just press on it. If you had to, you could headbutt it and lock it out. Okay? Next, we're bringing our cool. Aku thrust to the throat. You can brush that hand off. Now as you brush the hand off, I want you to step towards him and slightly to the side. Not step off to the side because you're giving too much space. Okay? So you want to step, brush, and cover yourself. Once again, brush, cover. After the cover, use your Brush hand to pin that to your body, hit. You want to hit to the back of his neck to stun him. After you stun him, go ahead and hit down on the back of his bicep. Still holding on here, you catch him in what's called an X, X block, right? You lock around. All right, so I'm here. Lock around. Place the blade of your arm, the baby finger side, on his tricep tendon, place your hand on top. I've got his wrist in the cradle of my elbow. I press down, driving knee into his face, maybe two. After you drive, step back as you press down and continue to press it down. If his arm bends, you go into what's called a kuka, a chicken wing. Okay, and that goes from this elbow lock then, if he bends it, it becomes a shoulder lock. Okay, you dislocate his shoulder, and you still keep him on his face. You dislocate the wrist, so he drops his weapon, take it, and do what you have to do. I'll go through that one again. He thrusts to the throat, a brush, cover, hit. X block, you push this towards him. I catch that in the cradle, and then I want to go ahead and monkey palm my own wrist, as I press the blade of my right forearm in, or left, depending on how you catch him, you press knee, 
knee, you press down. You bring him into a kuka, and then you go ahead and put the pressure on his shoulder. Go ahead and put pressure on his wrist. Take the weapon, cut him. Cut him. That's another way, which we call an inverted 